Ooh. Rocky goodness. Rocky climb. Where's my Jeep when I need it? Let's go get e-bikes. Woo! A little bit of a log over. Let's see it. Riding it blind. Oh! Oh! Baby. All right, so uh, we're at uh, Salisbury today. Uh, it's also known as the walking purchase, and uh, it's real muddy, which doesn't really stop us most of the time, but I think what we're gonna do today is we're actually gonna climb up the road over here, kind of a uh, self pedal shuttle up, and uh, then just ride down. So um, I probably won't be talking anything about the uh, the climbs, and I don't ride here a lot, so I don't really know the, uh, mo much about the climbs, what the route, best route is, but we're gonna go that route, and then uh, we've got our own tour guide here, this is Lewis. What up? And that's Rick. Ooh. And Lewis is our, our local. Yep. I'm our local be the yokel. Guide <laughs> He's going to be the guide. <laughs> so let's go have some fun. All right, you ready? Ready. How you doing back there, Rick? Good. Yeah. All right. It is slushy out here today. It's got the remnants of the recent snow, which was about 13 inches. About two weeks ago. Today it's uh, 60, 65 degrees. Threatening to rain all day. Feels good to get the tires spinning. Woo! Woo! Somebody's building a little, little feature there. goodness chunky that section of trails brought to you by Campbell soup really so is this one rocky climb where's my Jeep when I need it Woo. let's go get e-bikes <laughs> that gets so hard going huh oh yeah a little fun going down Climber, keep the momentum going. Sorry about that. Hey, no worries. Have a good one. A little bit of snow, a little slush. Whoa, that's a big rock to jump. <laughs> oh, that's not bad at all. Oh, <laughs> I keep I, I remember that now. Every time I ride here, I come up on that like holy crap. Then you get to the other side, and the thing is like totally rideable. Oh, look at you being all fancy pants. Lewis cleared that one nicely. Who put this hill here? Nice little log ride. Just a little off camber. I definitely need to come here more often. Woo. Skinny handlebars, wide handlebars on the right. This is for red meat with yellow. Okay. So red loop will continue that way. That way? Yeah. And yellow loop goes this way up to the parking this, lot. Just bring you to the parking lot. Okay. So when you get here, continue riding, parking lot. If you park to the top, you you're, not, you, you're nuts. But if you did, that's how you get back. I'm gonna take you up to the parking lot. We still got a little more climb. Slush! <laughs> well, I think we're almost to the parking lot, aren't we? Almost. Milk and cookies at the top. All right, so taking off from the parking lot up here. Ooh, yeah. Ice and snow and mud. Everything's getting washed when we get back. Let's see if I can do that line. Oh, that was fun. I'd like to take a moment to thank Kevin for that nice little trail feature. Oh, yeah. Rock, rock, log double feature, rock, falling behind. I remember later before when I told you that one was red? Yeah. Alright, that's when you read this. This will bring you here. Oh, okay. All right. So that last spot when we were climbing, if we'd gone left, we would yeah. come here. 
Come on, Rick. Yeah, it's fun. It's I like it, man. I can see it's really fucking fly on a dry day. Right? Yeah. Well, even if you know the trail, you'll know where you can get away with it on yeah. when it's wet like this. One of the things that's uh, conditions like this that you got to be aware of is that the trail underneath all this mud is hard. It's like it's probably still frosty on conditions like this. So you'll have a couple of inches. Oh, that'd be fun to ride. You'll have a couple of inches of uh, of slush, and then underneath that hard. Your tires won't necessarily dig into the mud and you'll just slide all over. A log ride right there. Super D will go. That's Super D over there. Yep. Okay. You follow right. Once you start going downhill, stay yeah. left. This will bring you all the way down to to where two. we started? Yeah. Okay. This loop is a different one. Next time we have time I'll, I'll show you. But now here, all you gotta do is just follow the trail. Good riding with you. I'm out of here. All right, see you. Have, have a good weekend. No What's problem, left man. of it? We I'll take care. See ya. Hello. Jump it, jump it, jump it. Looks like it was built up at one point. We need a rock in the middle. No. <laughs> Thou shalt not make thy own trail features. So uh, I've been here before a few times. It's definitely helpful having somebody who knows what they're doing. So I got myself lost. So what was happening was, I was riding, oh, jump, woo! I was riding and uh, going downhill and I kept making right-hand turns, woo! And those turns turned into eventually going to the, all the way to the bottom of the hill and the trail just ended. Oh, do we got this? Eh, not yet, not yet. Oh, shush, live to ride another day. <laughs> Rick's back there. What are you chicken out? Here's a little jumper. Woo! Hee <laughs> A little bit of a log over. Let's see. Riding it blind. Oh! Oh! Hey. Nice jumper. Nice jump. Yeah. Well, I may have just picked up my gimbal. Let's turn it on and see what happens. Dead stick, dead stick. Okay, we're gonna kill it because it's raining. So, see ya. Enjoy the ride, what little this was. Damn you, rain. Damn you to hell. Take two. Yeah, good <laughs> riding. Yeah. That's the best acting we got. <laughs> no, um, cut the ride short because we were uh, riding and my gimbal got messed up at the exact same moment it was starting to rain. And I did not want to do a field fix on the gimbal in the middle of the rain. So. Video's cut short, and it was kind of a short ride anyway, so uh, I'll do a longer, more full tour ride of this later. So that's just a feel for what this is like in uh, kind of uh, post-winter, uh, spring, slushy conditions. So as always, tread lightly, work hard, play hard, and be a big softy when you get home. You can help support the production of these videos by supporting me on Patreon.